Yo, welcome back everybody, it's me, Z, and I'm back with another GTA 5 video. Okay, man, we do have a new LG Retro Duplication Glitch. Um, I believe this method was found by Apocalypto. I will have his link in the description below, so make sure you go check him out. And a uh, big shout out to my man, Salem, for helping me out with this video and this glitch. Alright, so for this glitch, you are going to need one friend. You both need to have an MOC. Um, you also need the car that you wish to duplicate. In this case, we are duplicating an LG Retro Custom. And I have it stored inside my CEO garage right here. Alright, as you see, it's right there. I only have one in this garage. Okay. Um, now, inside my MOC, we need to have a regular LG RH8 stored inside. So that means we have to have the personal vehicle storage on our MOC. Now, the only thing your friend has to do is have his MOC out um, on the map. Okay, guys. So you want to go and get your MOC once you have the your garage set up. Like I said, you need the regular LG um, stored inside your MOC, and you need the LG Retro Custom stored inside of a garage. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and bring your MOC and put it close by to where your friend's MOC is. All right, as you see, his MOC is right there, so I'm going to park mine right here. All right, at that time, all you need to do is go ahead and go inside your MOC. Um, now, this part is important. When you're going to get inside the car, and you're going to hold gas. Okay, so once you get in, just hold gas the whole time um, until you spawn on the map with the car. Okay, so right now, I'm holding gas the whole time I'm driving out. And as you see, I'm still holding gas. You'll notice that the throttle will be stuck, okay? And that's normal. So we'll go ahead and get out of the car. Go ahead and return the vehicle to storage. Now you're gonna have to do that by starting up an MC club and return your vehicle to storage, okay? Once you return the vehicle to storage, all you need to do now is call the mechanic and request the car that you wish to duplicate. In this case, we are duplicating the LG Retro Custom. And I'm getting this from garage number two. Remember, I had I only had one in there. <laughs> All right, guys. So once the car is delivered, do not go get the car. Make sure your friend goes and gets the car for you. Um, as you see, my car is over there on the map. My friend Salem is going to run over there and grab the car for me. He is going to bring the car and park it behind the MOC. Okay. Guys, make sure you like this video, share this video, guys. Subscribe if you're new and donate if you can. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Come on, man. I know we can get over 100 likes on this video. Man, we've been getting thousands of views lately and no likes on the videos. Share this video, guys. Like this video. I really appreciate it. All right, so as you see, when your friend brings the car behind the MOC, sometimes when you try to get in, it's going to kick you right back out, okay, like this. And you don't have time to hit the right D-pad to enter the MOC. So if that keeps happening to you, like it did me, um, all you want to do is get in on the passenger seat. All right, so if you get in and it kicks you right back out and you do not have time to hit right on the D-pad like this, go ahead and get in on the passenger seat. As you see, I get in on the passenger seat here, and uh, I'm able to hit right D-pad now. Now, it's going to ask us to replace a personal vehicle because there's one inside. So, go ahead and accept that alert message, and you will start to drive in like this. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to be stuck on a black loading screen um, like this. So, what you want to do is wait um, at least 10 to 15 seconds on this black loading screen. At this time, you want to tell your friend, the same friend that helped you, Go ahead and leave and go to creator. Okay, so have him go to start online and go to creator. Once he does leave the session and goes to creator, your screen will be glitched out. Now, either you will be in the car and you will not be glitched out, or you will be in the car and stuck, or you will be like I was and stuck. Okay, so you want to kill yourself. Pull up your interaction menu and kill yourself. Um, like I said, if you're in the car and you're not stuck, just drive it into the MOC. If you're stuck like I was right there, pull up your interaction menu and kill yourself. Then when you respawn, go ahead and go grab the car. 
Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and grab the car and we're gonna put it in the MOC. Alright, so you notice when we drive in this time, we do not get a full alert or anything like that. It just takes us right in. As you guys can see. Okay, so what you need to do now is just go ahead and get back in the car and drive it out. Alright, and once you drive it out, the glitch is complete. You have now duplicated. Now, as of right now, um, I do believe you have to do this whole process over again to duplicate each car. Um, Alright, so that means you need to go to another session and you guys need to start all over. Alright, so if something else comes up to where we can keep duping without getting glitched out again, I will sure let you guys know, okay? Um, as you see, we still have our retro custom in our garage and we are in a retro custom. Alright, so I'm just going to take it in the garage right now and show you guys. There is our retro custom. I only had one, remember? And now we have two. So that's it. That's a pretty dope glitch. Um, shouts out to the founder, Apocalypto. Shouts out to my man Salem for helping me out with this video, um, this video and this glitch right here. Appreciate that guy. And um, that's going to be it for this video, man. Stay tuned to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'm out of here. Peace.